Hi, my name is Dave Wood. I'm the technical director here at Fowler High Precision, and this is the Tremos Lab Concept Premium 300. It has uh, 12 inches or 300 millimeters of travel. Uh, it is a high precision laboratory grade measuring machine uh, used for calibrating uh, hard gauging and uh, reference masters for the, uh, for the production floor. Um, main components of the machine, we have our fixed anvil on the left, we have our moving anvil on the right, which is able to move along the beam of the gauge using this hand crank. There is also a little movement up here, which is spring-loaded, so this creates the uh, repeatable measuring force when you're taking an outside or an inside measurement. It's always the same force. This can be, uh, this is done using the reference marks here and a mark on the right anvil. You get your center detent position, which is where it rests naturally. And then there's a mark at either extent of the travel. And then the intermediate marks here and here are where you should line up to take your measurement. So a little bit about the controls. As you saw, this hand crank here is the, the main axis, the x-axis as it's called in the machine. The, um, the spring-loaded measuring force, this movement here, is able to be locked out using a knob on the back of the carriage. If you're calibrating a machine that has uh, its own measuring force, such as a swing gauge or an indicator, you would want to lock this so that there's only one, uh, one spring-loaded device in play. There's also a lock for the main carriage right here, and once that's locked, this knob here on the back is able to act as a fine adjust. So mounted up, we have the standard measuring table. This has a similar hand crank for the Z direction, as well as a knob for the, the cross direction, the Y. Um, these knobs on the sides are adjustments for the yaw and the tilt. Also, there are two knobs on the back of the machine for locking it down to the beam to secure it in place. And then these two set screws in the sides just limit the travel of the x-direction float. So if you have a heavy workpiece on there, it can float on bearings and come into contact with the left side with the same force that's being driven on the right. So those are the physical controls of the machine. A little bit about the software. The control software for the lab concept is called WinDHI. Most of the controls you'll be using in the operation of the machine are over on this side of the screen, whereas this side a little bit more of the, the setup. So we'll start just going back, touching the anvils. All right, so some of the basic controls of the machine. On the upper left hand, we have this question mark with a plus and minus. This just scrolls through the different references. Um, these are just different frames of reference, so you can, you can have the machine set up measuring in nine different workspaces at the same time, rather. Next is the resolution, so this scrolls from the lowest resolution, which is one thou, up to a millionth. The inch metric switch is right here. We'll work an inch since that's more commonly found around here. And then the next button over is the zero datum. So if we bring the anvils into contact and bring that up to the proper measuring force, we can zero there. And if I roll this out to the full length of the travel, and then back down to zero, this should come pretty close to zero. Again, a couple of millions out. Our, uh, our measuring environment is not perfect, so a little bit of variation is kind of expected right now. For that reason, I'll switch back to just uh, five decimal points resolution. So below that, we have our, our preset values. So again, there are nine different presets that you can set. The number one position is currently populated with uh, 40 millimeters because that's one of our, our reference rings. And here you see 1.5748. This is the inch equivalent. Uh, if you wanted to apply that, you just hit the preset button here. But we're touching anvils right now, so we will just go back to zero.
Quirky Matter.